Well, it's uh, good to see you, everyone. It's, uh, it's been fun getting back into camp, obviously, and uh, appreciate the work going. But, uh, you know, first part of camp, we got to get, you know, doing a lot, but we got we to gotta make sure that we're productive in, in the time we're spending. And, and um, I think guys are, are, are doing that, but uh, these are important days for us. Yeah, I've liked the way that Chase is is uh, kind of approaching camp, and uh, you know I think he's done a nice job. You know, certainly this year, um, you know a lot of the questions have been kind of about Graham, but uh, Chase has been every bit uh, kind of as as hungry and and uh, putting in the time, and and I think it it's been kind of fun for me to see. I think he knows kind of where everything, how everything, why everything kind of fits and comes together. Um, I think that's the strength of his. I think he's got a natural good feel for the game and, and, and kind of combining that with, you know, last year got more experience than any other year he's had. So I think there's the ability to, to draw from those. Um, you know, certainly came in and, and did some really good things. And then also um, you get a chance to go back at, at some of those plays where, boy, you want to be better. and. And I think it makes complete sense now. You know, we're just uh, not too long ago we're watching it, and like, yeah, I, I know the you you, you see, you kind of know the, where it's at. You know, if you're watching a cut up, all right, this one scoreboard comes on, you're starting to get okay. It's this game, this one. Yeah, I know it's happening. Yeah, I I, I know, right? But it's uh, now you got to go out and do it. And I think there's always a a bit of a time where you got all all that you know from the studying. But you still got to go out and practice. I think the you know guys did a nice job of preparing for the, in the summer, preparing for the season. But you're not doing um, Skelly and team situations. So there is that added component. We had some today where I think you know they knew it right after the play. This is what we got to got to be able to work through this one, or got to be able to take this right away. And, and so there's still some um, getting back to playing that we've got to do. The chase has got to do. But it's um, hopefully we can shorten those those that curve for him so we can we can progress. Paul, when you talked about Jazz in the past, you said that he was the right type of person to fit some of the boxes. Now that you've seen him as a player, what do you think he brings to the running back room? Yeah, I, I think that uh, you know one, it's been you know the time we've had in camp, it's it's confirmed what you you thought and, and believed in, and and I think what he can bring is. I think there's a, truly a sense of purpose. You know, you think about it. You know, why someone uh, makes a, a decision to change um, kind of their situation? They're, they're looking and, and are very purposeful in in wanting to. You know, I'm sure there's a number of different reasons, but I think for Chez, I really shouldn't speak for him. But it, you know, I want to change my role. You know, and and I think therefore your actions need to back that up. And I think that he's showing that. And, uh, and, and still, you know, there's some things that, you know, he's still learning, right? I mean, I think he's, he knows it in the meeting room, kind of what we were talking about before, but, you know, actually going out and doing it. But I, I've liked his approach to it, and, and the, I think what comes to my mind is the word purposefulness. Yeah, this is this is um, Logan's been getting a lot of reps, and this is a uh, a really good and important time for him. And you know, the advantage of getting a lot of reps is you, you've got a chance to um, you know to to do something, and if it's well, to repeat that. And if you have have to make a mistake or you're off on a technique, I can come back and get it. You know, that's what you always struggle with, guys, to get minimal reps. But Logan is getting a ton of reps. And uh, this is a window where he's got to then now take advantage of those reps and, and what he's getting. And, and I think, you know, certainly don't question, you know, what he wants to do and, and you know, coming out and doing the work. But, you know, it's too early to say what are you going to do with it, I believe. But um, really important time. And, and uh, you know, we've talked about this all the time. You know, Beecher goes down, it's going to give someone 
You know, if someone ahead of you goes down, now there is an opportunity. What is, what are you going to do with that opportunity? I think that's, that's the question. And, and he's living in that moment. And, and, you know, the answer will be to come. From Keanu? You know, it's, uh, what I, I really enjoy about being around him is uh, I think he expects and we expect, teammates expect, uh, a ton from him, right? And, um, and I think that comes from respect, huge, huge respect for Keanu. And, uh, and you know, a guy that is driven by at least from my vantage point, you know, again, I shouldn't speak for what drives a guy, but from my vantage point, he will do anything for this team. Great teammate. And, and obviously we think he's talented and uh, really believe he's a, a relentless worker and uh, a guy that's open to coaching and open to uh, anything for this team, right? So you've got a talented guy that cares a, a ton about it. and. Uh, He's willing to, and I think everyone wants him to be one of those leaders. And so I think uh, what we're expecting is a lot from him, but I think it's all in his wheelhouse. Yeah, it's um, it's tricky because the they're all facing, especially the ones that didn't come in spring. You know, where the, they came in the summer and. And I think you're seeing some, uh, some glimpses of it. And, and then I think the, the next phase for many of those is can they continue to do that? And that's when it starts to go from, boy, you're excited they're on the team to, hey, they might be able to give us a, a spot right there. And I think we're starting to see that out of some guys. Um, I hesitate to say their names because that almost puts an undue pressure on them, but, uh, but I do think there are some that, you know, offensively, defensively, and, and I even think, you know, in our special teams, some of those are, the, I think, they could help on offense, defense. I think there's a couple that might just be special teams, but really could, could help, and maybe for learning purposes going into a week, if they focus on that, and then they can kind of learn the game plan. The, the tricky thing about camp is you're, you're trying to, you're putting in everything you may need for the season. That's a lot on... Uh, someone that's just learning something for the first time. And, and yeah, there's a review component. We're able to do, go over stuff in the summer, but we weren't practicing there. So, but I do think, Jim, there are guys that um, the, it come to my mind that I think that we will be able to say, you know what, it, it showed early and, and they were able to build on that. Yeah, I think, you know, DP's, uh, he's talented. He's, uh, he's, he's coming in and, and I think he's working to, you know, there's almost an approach that, and, and it's, I don't know that necessarily one is right and one is wrong, but he's coming in with an approach to, to do everything he can to learn it to play and, and impact it early. And, and I think, um, I think everyone has that want, but some guys are nego you know, kind of navigating a lot and, and that becomes a little bit more difficult. And I think he does a good job of kind of, e even when he wasn't here, of, of getting a jump on things. And, um, and then he comes out and what you're able to see out of him, you know, and certainly Bobby April will speak better than me on it, but I see him where he he's, looks to me like you get a number of steps where he's playing. You know, and there's a lot of times with young guys where they're still, you can see them kind of thinking through it. You can almost hear their wheels grinding a little bit, and that's natural. That's not a negative. But I, I think that he's, seems early that he's shown ability to, and, you know, and Nick Herbig went through this last year. Whether he was right or wrong, he didn't worry about overthinking, he went. And I think um, DP's coming with a, He's got a, he, I know I was talking about this with Keanu, but he's got a, a good purpose, in a different way, but a, I, I've liked the way he's approached camp.
because you feel good and excited when he's married, where if we had some of our other guys, you'd be a little bit more nervous, right? Um, he is, he's, he's mature and, uh, and, and he's, uh, you know, I don't, I know what I know about him and at the time was his girlfriend then became his fiance and, and I know he's excited about it and, um, and you feel good about it. But I think, you know, certainly for him, uh, it was, he, you're excited for him because he's excited and, you know, therefore he, you're confident that's a great decision for, for both of them. Yeah, I mean, Nelly's going to take advantage of everything. And, and, you know, you guys today, first one you saw, right? And it's the second day in pads. You know, so particularly when you're talking about linemen, um, there's a lot to kind of uh, to work on. You know, I, I go back to when I was in San Diego and, and uh, was talking with one of our, our center. He was a 15-year pro. And uh, was just asking at that time, you know, what, what's, what's your thoughts, you know, on how much camp should there be? And he goes, you know what, I need a, I need a good week to just be able to kind of get, get my feet underneath me and get my pads set and, you know, snap and, and get my feet in the ground and get my hands going. He goes, then I need another week of, of playing, you know, and just feeling confident with it. And then I need, you know, a preseason game where I'm going and, um, you know, kind of get a taste of it. And then I need a second preseason to go through first half and, and come back out and go. You know, so you're talking about four weeks from a 15-year veteran. And I don't know if Fort played four or five years. So you're looking at 19, 20 years plus high school. And, uh, you know, for me to talk right now about, you know, how's Nelly doing second day of pads and he's a uh, red shirt, you know, second year in the program. Um, that's why I give these guys a lot of credit because, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a different pace that you got to go at. Love his approach. Love his approach to it. And I'm confident that he'll, he'll have a good camp. And, and um, I think the thing that helps him and, and kind of answering the question, how is he starting? He's starting well because he's going, he's all in and, and he's going. Has it been all perfect? I don't know that there's been one guy like that, but it's, um, there's a lot to do in a short time. But, the only way to get there is going all in, and I'm confident he'll do that. Well, Alvin Twitter said that Devin Chandler's a guy that's got all the physical stuff, just needs to bring along the, the knowledge of the playbook and the understanding of it. Yeah. Do you think that changing routine, kind of just adding some extra time in the, the film room, uh, out with him early on in practice, what is something that you've seen Devin do this offseason to kind of pick up that playbook and knowledge aspect of it? Yeah, I mean, he's got to, you know, I've, I certainly don't see it all, but, you know, go in and, and uh, Elvis does a great job of being available for the guys and, uh, and and players need to take advantage of it. And, and there's been times I go in and, and he's in there and it, it makes you feel good because, you, you know, I agree with Elvis. He needs that. And uh, that's what's fun about all this is that, you know, if you want to be the best you can be at, you got to put a lot of time into it. And uh, a lot of guys want it and it's, you know, the ones that end up becoming really good are the ones that are willing to put that work in. And, and I think a lot of young guys cross that, you know, at some point the, the, it kind of switches, right? They go from, all right, what do I got to do? And I think he's in the process that he does have ability. He's got to take that ability and he's got to apply it through work. And, uh, you know, camp's a great time, but you don't wait to camp to do it. I don't think that he's done that, but um, you, you got to, you got to, you got to, you get to grind at it every day.